Welcome. I'm Matt. I'm Rashmi. And we just watched Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. In January. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I thought it was kind of surprising timing on the release date. I was thinking for sure it must have been delayed. Maybe they pushed it to not conflict with Animal or, or something. Uh, it turns out there were there were just delays, and it was in fact planned for a December twenty third release. So they were they were that close, but it was uh, just a little bit behind. But uh, I, I did enjoy my my Christmas in January. Uh, so this the film stars Vijay Setupati, who comes from Tamil movies. Did you recognize him? Um, yeah, I had seen him somewhere. He was in Javon. Javon. He played, yeah, he he played in... the villain. That's right. Yeah. I, I did. I did enjoy him in that role. Correct. And he was also in the OT2, so the online um, show Farzi with Shahid Kapoor. I don't think you've seen that one, uh, but he was really good. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Um, and he plays kind of like this character, which I, I really like. Um, and then there was Katrina Kaif. And you've seen her before. She's been in a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zendegi Nam Legi Dubar. Yeah. Wow, that was an oldie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, but she, she was the, the love interest, as I recall. Correct. Correct. Um, and then we kind of saw a bunch of other actors. I don't know if you recognize anyone. There is, this is not a spoiler. Um, I'd like to keep spoilers till the very end if I can. Uh, but Radhika Apte makes a guest appearance. Did you recognize her? Uh, which, which one was she? I don't, I don't want to give it away. Oh. <laughs> sure. So, but she does make a guest appearance. Um, and then there were some other people. I don't know if you recognize them. I know them from other thing. Um, there's an actor from Dasvidanya, the main actor. Mm -hmm. um, Again, I don't want to talk about like who that was <laughs> or like what character he plays until like we get into the spoilers. Uh, can you talk about which film I know him from? I don't think you know him from anything. These are all like side characters in mm. other movies, and then they kind of all came into this one. Are we talking about uh, Chashmash? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Um, so I know him from from a lot of stuff. Um, but did you watch a trailer for this? I, I wa We watched. Um... There's a music video, maybe slash teaser for it. I'm not sure if it was totally meant as the trailer, but yeah. or if it was if it was just a just a song. But uh, yeah, I did watch that. I thought it looked intriguing from that. It seemed like it was going to be sort of a um, psychological, maybe a, almost horror film. Uh, was was sort of the vibe I got from it. Yeah. Uh, and it was not quite that. I won't go into spoilers, but it was uh, actually fairly light uh, as these things go. So I, I wouldn't go to it expecting it to be a uh, a full-on thriller, but it, it was a it was a nice, nice, nice movie, nice Which Christmas is film. Interesting because it's directed by Sri Ram Raghavan, who is known for thrillers. Um, he actually directed a Casino P with Stephanie Khan in like the early two thousands. Oh. One of the first movies I remember with Urmila Matonkar that was kind of this thriller, slightly horror thing. And I know Indian cinema has seen that before, but I mean, I, I still remember it because he not beat that's so like from early 2000s. Um, and he's done a whole bunch of other stuff, including like Agent Renaud with Sekali Khan. Um, I don't remember what else. He, oh, and, and of course he did Andadun uh, with Radhika Apte and um, Ayushman Karana. So he kind of has this genre, this vibe. Um, but yeah, I it's not, yeah. So I almost thought this was like a, like a comedy. And I don't know if they meant it as a comedy. Like the theater was laughing. There, there were a couple lighter moments. I think were split, that were were meant to be comic relief. Especially one part was was pretty funny. Um, even though it was kind of kind of a dramatic moment. Uh, I, I think yeah. it was intended to be somewhat light. I, I would say. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, do you want to give them like a a synopsis or give us a synopsis of what happens? It's a little bit tough without spoiling it, but I'll, I'll try. So. Mm -hmm. Our main leads, uh, played by uh, Vijay and uh, Se Katrina. Seth, Katrina mm -hmm. Seth. Uh, Kef. They Kef. Katrina. <laughs> Katrina. Kef. Uh, yeah, so they um, they meet and uh, they enjoy a night, kind of kind of getting to know each other, and then things kind of get kind of change from there. Uh, I can't say much more than that without going further into spoiler territory. And there there are definitely twists in this film, uh, so it it definitely keeps you keeps you guessing guessing for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it you never know quite where it's going to go. There's, there's a few different twists and turns. Um, the runtime was just fairly short by Bollywood standards. Two, maybe two and a half hours. Yeah, maybe even shorter than that. I mean, what, we started at like 6.35. It's around 9 p.m. So yeah. our, our, our particular uh, theater, I don't know if they're all going to do this in, in America, but it did have an intermission of 
pretty long intermission it felt like from Hui that was was this short <laughs> so uh but yeah overall though what uh, what did you think I really enjoyed it I think it was a, a slow burning for sure comedy thriller if I had to like put it in any <laughs> category um it was definitely slow so generally I don't know if I would watch this in the movies this seems more of like a movie I'd like to watch on Netflix um and you kind of see in um the trailers that um, Netflix did buy the subscription rights to it so I think it will drop on Netflix um, I think this is kind of those like you put the kids to bed you need like a good movie to watch you put on this movie I, I agree it didn't really feel like a, a blockbuster film per se it felt a lot kind of more more character driven and you know lower, lower budget even but like our theater was full like we had to book tickets in advance so I think the audience will show up to this um, I think Hitchhiker on Camp is popular enough and um Vijay is becoming popular in Bollywood and or specifically like the Hindi movie scene. Um he plays a character I really like, which is kind of like you know the South Indian guy. Uh, what I really like about him is he's so genuine. Like his kiss plays a character so flawlessly. Um he doesn't try to come up with like a Marathi Hindi accent, right? Like it said in, in Mumbai. I, I presume it was like 1960s Mumbai. The the uh, yeah, I thought the um, specific time period was actually a little bit a little bit vague. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking seventies, and especially the first part of the film did feel like it was more of a period piece. So they leaned into that, and you do, do get the vibe where it kind of feels like they're intentionally doing a, an older style of film, which was kind of nice. I feel like maybe they abandoned that a little bit, sort of uh, towards the the latter stages of the film. Okay, but they they do seem to lean in kind of the, into kind of the period thing earlier on, yeah. which uh, I, I thought was fun. Yeah, kind of like the I, I'm not gonna say noir film because it's it's not quite like that, but kind of um a lot of the shots are like close ups, um and so you see I think a lot more kind of slow motion scenes that which again like plays into this whole like slow movie. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I, I enjoyed it too. Um, it was fun. It keeps you guessing. Uh, it was not exactly the film I expected to see. I thought it would be a little more of a little more of a thriller, you know. Mm -hmm action suspense kind of thing but uh, it was still a nice movie and uh i enjoyed it and um there were definitely definitely some su su surprises which uh, i appreciated yeah the one thing i really liked is um kind of in the first half like right before interval it's kind of like a slow burning film and there's actually more comic moments like in the second half that is true yeah you, you expect it to kind of kind of pick up and, and go from there but it doesn't uh yeah it, yeah it does Kind of surprise you yeah because usually in like most movies like i mean we just got done watching animal right um a few weeks ago and so you kind of have like all the comic in the beginning and then it gets to like this whole serious part mm -hmm. of it yeah um but with this one I almost felt like i was like getting through to the interval and then it like got funny <laughs> that, that is true yeah i think over the course of the film it did feel like it was two or three different genres of film as we, we went along which was which was interesting yeah uh, one thing i did think was interesting as well is it didn't quite feel like a typical Bollywood film mm -hmm. I uh, it actually one thing I was wondering was if they'd ad adapted it from something else um it reminded me a little bit of Budla in that regard if you remember that one yeah yeah yeah. Uh, so that one also didn't feel like quite like a typical Bollywood film and we looked it up later and it was adapted originally from a a Spanish film or a Telugu film that had been adapted from a Spanish film something like that um I, I i looked it up after and it was based on well they tell you this in the closing credits there there is a uh, a book a novel that it's based on I, I don't know if it was specifically adapted from a uh a film though so it was still still somewhat original yeah what did you how did you feel about the acting like how did you like catching a cap how did you like Vijay? like what were your what were your thoughts um yeah i enjoyed the leads for sure um they were both good um different role for sure from for vijay from the the uh, previous film I'd seen yeah, him play, like where villain. he was he was yeah. a villain, and he was was fun in that role. But uh, yeah, he was he was good. Uh, there's some, I guess, ambiguity about both of their actions, which I, I feel like they, they both play pretty well. Like, so I think good performances from both of them. Yeah, I really like Vijay. I feel like I keep mentioning him over and over again. I, I just really like his acting. I think he's very talented. Um, Katrina Kev, I think, was better than any movie I've seen her in. I will say I haven't watched Tiger 3 yet, so that's been released for a while. I just haven't watched it. Um, she's never been one of my personal favorites. Um, I, I personally prefer, like, you know, Radhika Apte or, um, oh my gosh, who's the one from Kahani? Vidya Balan. How could I forget Vidya Balan? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so she, I, I think Katrina Kev was good in this role. 
Um, but I feel like if like somebody like you know, like Vidya Balan had played this role, I think I would be a lot more invested in the character. Um, I, I've never thought Katrina Kaif is someone who, you know, can pull off these levels of roles. So let me take that for what that's worth, <laughs> I guess. Um, I thought the supporting cast was incredible. That, that's true. There were actually some some big names there. Um. I think it gets into spoilers if we talk about their roles, but yeah, uh, yeah definitely the. Um... Anyway, I shouldn't talk too much about the characters, but like his his uncle, we, we meet in one of the first scenes. Um, I, I got a feeling that was a cameo from from someone famous. Was he a known, a pretty well known actor? His uncle with the with the beret. Oh yeah. Um. Again, good side yeah. character. Yeah. I mean, like the like the side cast is is people who like kind of did theater and then came into Bollywood. Hmm, so so the acting level is is really high quality um kind of like every star cast like i mean every, every person you meet in this like in this in the side cast is is someone that's very talented hmm, for sure and somebody i really enjoy like watching kind of on screen um do we get into it do we get into the spoilers <laughs> uh yeah yeah let's dive in okay so if you guys haven't watched it maybe pause right here because this is one of those movies you don't want to get in this spoilers. it's, it's kind of going to give the whole thing away um, so I definitely don't recommend you like watching past this point at least. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right. <laughs> so I guess going sort of between the, the couple different acts. So the first act was when she uh, he follows her around, which sounds really creepy, and it actually is kind of creepy. Like he sees her at a restaurant, and then he kind of basically follows her to theater, and he sees her there, and she invites her kind of home, and you're like, that's kind of weird right is he gonna murder her and what sort of crazy person is she to invite him in <laughs> right yeah but uh so i guess that whole scene though is almost uh almost uh, like almost like a self-contained novella in a way like uh it's um i really like like the acting and like the whole um i guess production of it right it's they're basically just talking right and experiencing this night of like you know kind of having drinks and dancing and going for a walk through uh like a christmas market and a graveyard for some reason um but I, I found that that whole part really engrossing it felt, um, felt almost like uh i don't know tarantino vibes in a way okay. not violent tarantino but like uh remember that scene in pulp fiction where john travolta and i forget who the female lead are but they they kind of go on these series of dates and they're dancing together right and um nothing really interesting happens but you're really into it but at the same time you've at least seen the trailer you know something bad is going to happen right but uh, I thought that was really uh, pretty engrossing, even though there's really limited limited drama to it. Yeah, so I definitely get where you're coming from on that front. One line I thought that was really interesting uh, was Katrina Kef tells her daughter, um, thanks for not letting mommy go crazy. So at that point, I'm like, is she the serial killer? <laughs> and then in my head, I was like, wait, is Vijay also a serial killer? So like, are these two serial killers like meeting each other? And then just to find out the end, like there's no serial killers on either side <laughs> oh but that's like right where my head went and i was like that's kind of weird but they were also uh we're in spoiler territory right yeah, yeah, yeah but they were also both killers <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so so that was an interesting kind of kind of thing um i think if you're into art movies it's something you'll really enjoy mm, because sure. i feel like all the scenes make a loop like everything that happens in the beginning like loops around in the end yeah yeah a lot of a lot of foreshadowing a lot of, a lot of callbacks that they come back later um so yeah the that sort of arc ends with them coming back to her house and then she finds the body of her husband who has apparently shot himself right and uh it's a real um did that give you like sath kun moth vibes you know with priyanka chopra remember watching that one a while back like she commits seven one. murders sath kun moth oh yeah um and you know she's a christian and um uh, it, it just kind of like gave me some like flashback vibes kind of of like South Korean mom. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see that a little bit. Um, yeah, so there's the, they, they do find the body and that's, it's very, it's very jarring that the whole transition and that, that really sets off the, the whole chain of events. He says, I, I can't be here. And he leaves and it comes out that he, uh, he actually killed his, um, his lover seven years ago and he just got out of, uh, he just got out of prison. And then do we go to intermission i think there's yeah we pretty much go to intermission after that i think he sees her one more time but then it 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 cuts there correct so it, it kind of cuts there he 
so so that's again where my serial killer vibes instincts kind of went up again because he's like wiping everything down on the crime scene he's like can't be seen here um and one really jarring scene is he's trying to find this little ornament he put up on the christmas tree and at that point i i like almost got out of the movie for a second because i was like the possibility of a 1960s mumbai and a woman married to a white guy with a kid and casually walking around looking for what seemed like a hookup just seems like really out there <laughs> i'm just like like just like throwing like i was like okay um and she owns a bakery and i own a restaurant i hate it when they get restaurant scenes <laughs> <laughs> but i was like if you own a bakery you're not out at midnight like you, you're waking up at 3 a.m to make cookies <laughs> Right. So like that, like for a minute, just like took me out of like the whole thing. I was like, mm, <laughs> you know, and she's like, you know, my workers are going to be here. Uh, and I was like, yeah, but like you seem like a small bakery. Like, I feel like you would both be involved in the production <laughs> of these things. Or at least like overseeing them. So I guess that should have been foreshadowing, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that like for a minute, I was just like, mm, that's not. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know about that. So they, then they show the. They show the flashback where he, uh, he 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 kills his lover in the past, and there's actually a like like a hard cut. He's like, I don't rem- I don't remember anything. I don't remember what happened. That was pr- pretty well shot. Just the you know all, all at once like this happens, right? That was it was kind of cool. But at the same at the same time, it kind of they imply that he's some sort of crazy person potentially, right? And then um, so again, that's the point where I actually uh, had a point. Like if you remember the starting scene, there's like. Um, two mixers that are grinding and one has pills in it and the other one's making dry chutney and then um, there's a scene where he's making dosas for Radhika Abde and uh, the dosas look really good and that's where you see him put the ring and you know get the chutney and I was like okay that's really cool I understand his side what about the pills like is that what Katrina Kef is mixing in in her husband's so I th- yeah I think that is the callback she she said she poisoned him so I think that was yeah like him that's basically leading up to him killing his uh, his lover, and this leads up to killing her her oh, husband. I, I guess is this okay. the symbolism there. Okay. Um, Can we talk about the teddy bear? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we see the teddy bear kind of kind of all over, right? And um, I don't know what to make of him. Like I was like, <laughs> is, is he just hanging around? Like what did he like? Is that is there like symbolism? Like did I completely miss it? I think it's supposed to be give kind of kind of a sense of foreboding, right? That's, um, I guess one thing that can kind of be scary is like if you have something innocent that's kind of out of place, like I don't know, like in The Shining of the two little girls, right, who on their own would be cute, but when they're in the middle of this hallway just staring at you, it's kind of scary. So I okay. think just the way, like it's it's juxtaposed, like almost like it's staring at you, right? Okay. Like you know something is wrong, and the teddy bear is kind of kind of always there. Um, I don't know if there's more to it, but that was that's sort of the vibe I, I got. I almost like the teddy bear just kept taking me back to Ted, and I was like, "Is there like this is part of like the comic relief scene?" Um, and again, like I don't know if they meant for this to be a comedy. So like there were some lines that I, I think they definitely put to be a comedy, but other lines I was like, "This is funny." <laughs> there, there's comic relief towards the end for sure. I, I don't know if it's meant to be a comedy so much as um, this just. I think it is meant to be relatively light as these things go, which again, I was kind of surprised by. I thought it'd be, be a little more serious, but I, I still had fun. Uh, so when we do see, so after the flashback, you, you're Did you like- you catch the, the dosa scene on the flashback? Oh, what about it? He was like, I'll take anything fermented except dosa batter. And then it comes back when he's like <laughs> making the dosas. And oh, you're I like, see. Oh, that's good. <laughs> And I talk about that because you recently made me dosas. That's true. Um, and we actually have a video on there where he actually speaks all in Hindi. I'll put a link below, guys, if you want to check it out. It's on his different channel called Matt Learns Hindi. But I think it's a really fun video where he's like, learning how to make the dosa. <laughs> so when that scene came on, I was like, you should you should watch how he makes the dosa. <laughs> and he seems to make really good ones. Yeah, many dosa banaya. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so anyway, I think they they set it up almost like it was a psychological thriller which is where i thought they were going with it mm-hmm. right like uh, like after you see the scene where he kills his lover or does he it mm-hmm. turns out he, he did i guess but um like the way, the way it cuts you're like oh is he, is he a crazy person right and then when it comes back to uh just like, like like a scene later they're back at the house and he's there with the the other guy um do you know that actor's name 
Yes. So I actually don't remember his name. I'm going to look it up right now. But he was the male character in uh, The Fame with Madhuri Dixit, the Netflix show. Give me a second to pull up his name. Uh, the f- I've seen him in so many stuff. I just can't remember. Yeah, I feel like I've seen him, seen him all around too. But playing uh, generally a similar type of character, right? Yeah, Sanjay Kapoor. Okay. Yeah, he definitely he he gave a really good performance too. Yeah, he's playing, so uh, good. He's always so good. Just sort of a, a sketchy, uh, you know, sort of you know, stylish you know, businessman type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, I got a lot of fun out of his performance. Um, but yeah, what was cool was that they set it up almost like it's a, a psychological thriller, right? Especially when they come back to the, the scene and you see that the body's not there, and you're like, "What happened to the body?" And then he comes back and the body is there. So I really thought they were setting it up like he was sort of a crazy person. And it's going to be like you know what's what's real and what's not real. Which we, we had for almost, a second, but I think they were trying to kind of kind of keep us guessing there. I almost thought uh, the fact that she was going back to church to set up as an alibi, like she walks home and like everyone sees her at church, and then she walks home and she's like, "Oh my god, what happened?" That's it's exactly what my child. And I was like, "Wait, she's just replaying this whole <laughs> thing again?" Yeah, it, it's funny too because she she invites um, Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay Kapoor. She invites him up again, and she says the exact same thing when she invites him up, and she's acting like Vijay is not there, right? And then she, they have the exact same sequence of events. They, she offers him a drink, right? And he, Vijay gets a drink too, but she isn't acknowledging him. So I'm like, is he a crazy person? And is he, is he reliving this like the second time? But we're going to see what actually happens maybe. That was, uh, I, I think by design kind of um, unsettling. You're like, wait, what, what's going on for a second? You know, like, is, is he here, even here at all? You know, is this like his other personality and he, him reliving it? That was, it, it was kind of cool. Really, really kept you guessing. Yeah, I really, really like that. Um, did the body kind of look fake to you? It, it definitely did. Yeah, it looked, it seemed like it was a wax figure. When they saw it at first, I was like, is this a prank? Like someone, did the it's abusive exactly husband like put a body there to scare her or something? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if that was just effect, just um. I don't think it was a budget, budget thing. Or... <laughs> I don't think so, because I mean, they have a great star cast. So it must play a part to like the style of movie this is. And then I was like, is she mentally unstable? Like, are they just playing along? Like, she's a rich kid, and they're just playing along in her fantasy world. Like that. That's where my thought went. Yeah. So I, I was skipping forward a little bit. So the uh, the police do eventually come, and then we see the uh, the chief police officer, who's a pretty well known actor. Yeah, let me actually find his name too. Did you like him? I, I did. Yeah. Um, I've definitely seen him previously. Was he also playing a cop in in other roles? Yeah. Um, so that is Renee Patak. Renee Patak. Yeah, you've seen him in a whole bunch of stuff. Um, he's so good, always. Um, Beja Fry was the first time I saw him. Um, more. He was in Johnny Goddard, which is again directed <laughs> by the same director. I'm trying to find out where else he was in that you would have seen him. He's in so much, though, like so much. I, I really always enjoy his performances. He's in Rabni Banadi Jordan. Yeah, yeah, he definitely gave a good performance. Uh, yeah, so there's there's some conflict when the police start investigating, and then it's revealed that she created an exact replica of uh, her apartment on another floor of her apartment slash bakery, I, I guess. And then, so that was a little bit confusing for me. So walk me through that, because I like was like, wait, what? <laughs> so I guess she created this. How did she look? So did she put her husband to sleep and then lure him to the second bedroom? No, or did she lure, lure him upstairs? Like I got so confused. Yeah, I, I guess I guess she did lure them lure him to the other floor, right? Okay. Um. So when she would, was bringing Vijay and then later the um the, the other character mm-hmm, up, Sanjay. Um. Yeah, I guess she brought him to the first time. She brought him to I guess like the third floor, right? And the second mm-hmm. time she brought him to the second floor, and she's like, "Oh my God, a body's here." So uh, I, I I guess it just relies on the mark not knowing which floor they're on which they took an elevator up oh you mm-hmm. know what actually she was making out with them on the elevator right probably to distract him oh like that was part of it okay totally missed that yeah yeah they so she said like i was playing the the record really loud to hide hide the gunshot she didn't say i kissed you to distract you but i, I guess that's that's what happened okay i guess she made out with uh the other guy too yeah that <laughs> when she brought him up too <laughs> Oh, or she must have uh, done something, yeah. Um, and I think Sanjay Kapoor's wife was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was a great scene where he's like, he helped you, he 
he helps uh yeah he helps all women give him your card and then you can kind of see the wallet scene um so the one thing i was a little bit confused about was again like maybe again just because i own a restaurant there is no way she herself would have been able to destroy all of that furniture yeah they in the furnace a strain credulity a little bit I, not all of that would have burned anyway yeah who knows if the police would have searched it but uh <laughs> yeah even with his help she she barely does it so maybe maybe a slight flaw in her plan i like to think she planned all this based on reading whatever whatever book right and then uh and she got there and was like, wow, this is way too big, way too much. What, what was I thinking? What I really enjoyed um, what, what was just the entire like aesthetic of the movie. Like it was very, very clean, like really nice. The decor was on point. Like I felt like I was in a living room. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, and it, it seemed relatively simple. Like they all wore the same. Like she wore the dress the entire movie. He wore a suit. Like, you know, there weren't like 500 costume changes. There weren't any like typical like you know in Bollywood song comes on and you're like fully out of the movie like we're in India and next minute we're in Switzerland and don't get me wrong like I love that or, like as Bollywood like if you want if you watch like Dilvai Dhananyadi Jayenge or this that'd be a good joke about DBLJ but like if I see that like I I do love it <laughs> but it was nice to see like the songs were actually like um I really enjoyed the speakeasy they were at I thought that that you know that had the right aesthetic so did this yeah. um so I really kind of like that whole thing it was very simple yeah yeah very simple not not a super high budget blockbuster but yeah very very well executed yeah and i, I think my attention was pretty engrossed the whole time yeah yeah for sure it was it's slightly slow at some parts but it was yeah fairly few and far between yeah how'd you like the songs um songs were were okay i guess there, there was one main song i think it was the one that we heard uh when we watched the I'm not sure if it was meant as a trailer or a music video or possibly both. Um, but uh, I, I did enjoy that song. Awesome. It's kind of kind of slow, slightly eerie. Yeah, I think so too. I think I'll be listening to that one for, for a little bit. So what do you think? What do you, how do you rate it? Um, yeah, o overall, I really enjoyed it. I uh, Again, I was expecting a little bit of a different film. I wouldn't have mind if it leaned into more of the uh, slightly, you know, psychological thriller, thriller you know, light horror type thing uh, which is really really where it lo was looking the first half of the film and the second half of the film was i mean almost a different movie it became more of a more of a mystery slash crime drama really but uh i still enjoyed it it, it was a good time and there's even some some you know comic relief that wasn't wasn't out of place there um and like you said good performances but especially by the the side characters um i thought uh and and you know Sanjay Kapoor. Sanjay Kapoor. <laughs> but you're right with Anil Kapoor. It's just that was a, he was an animal. <laughs> Almost. Um, yes, I thought Sanjay kind of Kapoor kind of stole this, this <laughs> kind of stole the the show and the scenes he was in. Yeah, he, he's such a good actor. I think he's uh, uh, not praised enough in in Bollywood. I, I'd love to see him in more stuff. Um, I really like the movie. Um, it's perfect for January, February, especially um, if you live outside of India and it actually gets cold. Really, one of those movies you can turn on the fireplace, put your kids to bed, cuddle up with your spouse. What do you think? A Christmas them. classic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but I definitely think it has those vibes. Are you guys seeing when like, it's getting a little cold where we are? So I think it definitely has like that cuddle up and watch a good movie kind of vibe. Sound good? Anything else? Um, I think we just about covered it awesome if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave us a comment below and subscribe and let us know what you guys want to review next i do have my eye on a netflix series that i'm hoping to cover this weekend but if you guys have any other thoughts options like drop them in the comments below um and i'll see if matt's up to watch it <laughs> definitely bye guys <laughs>